Hey there, candle lovers. So tonight, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to give you guys a triple review. You might ask me, why am I doing this? Well, I'll tell you. Over the last couple of weeks, I received so many candles, and I find it that it's very hard to find time for some of these reviews. With that said, hopefully this simplifies things just a little bit, so I don't have to keep recording. So the first candle we're going to talk about today is Beach House. And Beach House has gotten a lot of attention, and I won't say good attention. A few of you had mentioned on the group that you had a defect with yours, and mine came yesterday, and it had that same defect. See those little black spots? A few of you had mentioned that uh, it's perhaps condensation, and a few others mentioned that it was mold. So I had to email Goose Creek, and I sent them some photos, and I also ended up calling them today, because I really wanted to burn this one. This one actually smelled quite nice. So upon calling them, they are aware that there is a defect with this one, and they did say that quality control went to go and check out the batch. Their conclusion was those dark spots that you see were actually spots of oil with a little bit of coloring. So I felt a little bit better about burning this one. I was still leery about it, but I did get around to it tonight. And Beach House is so incredibly good. Let's start with this candle's overall visual appeal. It's there, it's beachy. And the color of wax is quite attractive. So its overall appeal gets an A+. Now let's talk about its scent. On cold, I did get a few notes of vanilla and warm sands. But upon burn, I get really deep black coconut. I also get that warm sands, but that sands is very ambery. So I get amber, I get coconut, and I get warm sands. I also get some notes of sunscreen, which for those who don't like the sunscreen scent, this candle probably isn't for you. It's very forward. It's really in your face. Almost like 1970s beach cabana. Very vintagey. Almost like copper tone. So if you don't like the sunscreen scent, this candle isn't for you. But for me, it had a really good throw, an 8 out of 10, and I absolutely love it. I don't mind that uh, sunscreen note. It's actually quite uh, pleasant. It's like going back in the day, 1970s beach cabana. Uh, beach house is all there, the appeal, the scent. But like I said, if you're not a person that likes sunscreen, it isn't for you. We now move on to Teakwood Merlot, which I ended up getting today from a friend of mine on the group. Um, I love this one. Teakwood Merlot was on my wish list, and you can see that it looks to be a holiday candle. And obviously, what? It's Easter. It's not the holidays anymore, so it's kind of hard to get. Um, they did release this or re-release it right before Easter. I guess they had a few extra in stock but I missed out. And that's one of the reasons why my friend ended up sending me this one. Teakwood Merlot smells fantastic on cold. I definitely get teakwood and I get a little bit of grapiness, but that grapiness is a little bit tart, which I like, that's what I want. Now upon burn, teakwood is right on top. It's big, it's bold, but I also get grape, very tart grape, and I also get Merlot. So overall, this candle just screams success. It's like ritzy. It's really nice, it's very rich, it's very bold, very masculine, and overall, its appeal is definitely there. I love the label, love that label. Looks fantastic, and it smells so freaking good. So I really, really love this one. If you get an opportunity to find this one, maybe on Mercari or something, definitely buy it, it's so good. The last one we're going to talk about tonight is another great one. I did mention this in my uh, unboxing video earlier. Pile of Leaves. Very fall-like. You can already see based on the picture, it's very fall-like. I love the dog on the front, the Golden Retriever. I'm an animal person. I'm a huge animal person, so kind of caught my eye. And the color of the wax, it's so beautiful. It's, it's very uh, rustic looking. It's very clean and rustic. So um, very nice appeal. It's scent on cold, I did mention that smelt a little minty and a little piney as well. 
On burn, that pine really hits on top uh, with leaves. I do smell some like crunchy leaves, which is another candle that I have. I do smell those leaves. I do get pine. And that pine is almost like a frosted pine because I do get a little bit of mintiness. And I wouldn't say there's like mint in it. I don't think there's mint in it. Um, in its scent description, but I do get something that's kind of minty and frosty, and I actually like it. I like it a lot. This is definitely like late fall, probably a November candle, but I'm sure that you could burn this any time of year. It's got a really nice approach. Uh, the throw on this one was like a 10 out of 10, which I was so surprised. It blew me away. You can see at the top that that wax melt wasn't very deep but it was just so strong. I actually blew it out to light another candle, so kind of feel bad because I was really enjoying this one. Uh, I do have the wax melts, which is nice. It kind of, it's a nice pairing. You know, if you don't want to burn your candle, throw a couple melts in. Very, very awesome, guys. If you get a chance to get your hands on this one, like I said, I think it's a fall one. It might not be there tomorrow, so if you get a chance, definitely pick this one up. It's a great fall candle, something nice to have on hand. And until next time, I want you to stay safe. Definitely comment below and keep on burning those candles.